Cab Calloway Biography 1907-1994 Singer Cab Calloway became a star with his performances at the Cotton Club and his song Minnie the Moocher, 1931. He also appeared on stage and in films. Who is Cab Calloway? Singer and bandleader Cab Calloway learned the art of scat singing before landing a regular gig at Harlem's famous Cotton Club. Following the enormous success of his song Minnie the Moocher, 1931, Calloway became one of the most popular entertainers of the 1930s and 40s. He appeared on stage and in films before his death in 1994, at age 86. Early Life Born Cabell Calloway III on December 25, 1907, in Rochester, New York, Cab Calloway's charm and vibrancy helped him become a noted singer and bandleader. He grew up in Baltimore, Maryland, where he first started singing, and where his lifelong love of visiting racetracks took hold. A move to Chicago, Illinois, saw Calloway begin to study law at Crane College, now Malcolm X College, but his focus always remained on music. While performing at Chicago's Sunset Club, Calloway met Louis Armstrong, who tutored him in the art of scat singing, using nonsensical sounds to improvise melodies. In 1928, Calloway took over the leadership of his own band, the Alabamians. Ready for the next step in his career, he headed to New York the following year. Minnie the Moocher In 1930, Calloway got a gig at Harlem's famed Cotton Club. Soon, as the band leader of Cab Calloway and his orchestra, he became a regular performer at the popular night spot. Calloway hit the big time with Minnie the Moocher, 1931, a number one song that sold more than one million copies. The tune's famous call and response hi to Heidi Ho chorus, improvised when he couldn't recall a lyric, became Calloway's signature phrase for the rest of his career. Songs and Film Appearances With other hits that included Moon Glow, 1934, The Jump and Jive, 1939, and Blues in the Night, 1941, as well as appearances on radio, Calloway was one of the most successful performers of the era. During the 1930s and 1940s, he appeared in such films as The Big Broadcast, 1932, The Singing Kid, 1936, and Stormy Weather, 1943. In addition to music, Calloway influenced the public with books such as 1944's The New Cab Calloway's Hepster's Dictionary, Language of Jive, which offered definitions for terms like in the groove and zoot suit. Calloway and his orchestra had successful tours in Canada, Europe and across the United States, traveling in private train cars when they visited the South in order to escape some of the hardships of segregation. With his enticing voice, energetic onstage moves and dapper white tuxedos, Calloway was the star attraction. However, the group's musical talent was just as impressive, partly because the salaries Calloway offered were second only to Duke Ellington's. The standout musicians Calloway performed with include saxophonist Chew Berry, trumpeter Dizzy Gillespie and drummer Cozy Cole. Porgy and Best to the Blues Brothers In 1948, as the public had stopped flocking to big bands, Calloway switched to working with a six-member group. Beginning in 1952, he spent two years in the cast of a revival of the musical Porgy and Bess. In that show, he portrayed Sport in Life, a character Calloway himself had reportedly inspired George Gershwin to create. Calloway took other onstage roles over the years, including the male lead in a 1967 production of Hello Dolly, whose all-black cast also featured Pearl Bailey. Calloway introduced himself to new fans by appearing on Sesame Street and in Janet Jackson's 1990 music video for All Right, and shared his life story in an autobiography, of Minnie the Moocher and Me, 1976. He also made more big-screen appearances, most notably in the 1980 movie The Blues Brothers. During the film, Calloway put on his trademark white tie and tails and performed Minnie the Moocher once again. Personal Life Calloway married Zum Nuffy Calloway in the mid-1950s and together they made their home in Greenberg, New York. The couple had one daughter, Chris Calloway, who later performed with her father and became a respected jazz singer and dancer. Chris died in August 2008 after a long battle with breast cancer. A couple months later, Nuffy died at a nursing home in Delaware at the age of 93. Legacy and Death In 1993, President Bill Clinton presented Calloway with a National Medal of the Arts. Calloway's later years were spent in White Plains, New York, until he had a stroke in June 1994. 
He then moved to a nursing home in Hokesson, Delaware, where he died on November 18, 1994, at the age of 86.